Our friend Mikey with that incredible log cabin camper came by our campsite this morning and said, you know, he said, Dan, I was looking at Google Earth last night and I think there might be a campground that is abandoned or they just started to build right down the road. So we hopped on our electric bikes and we came out to what was once Hemingway Cove. Now, as the story goes, the water actually came up to the front of this campground and that is what forced them to close this campground. We're gonna go exploring, but I'm gonna ask the question, with all the RVs on the road today, maybe it's time for Hemingway Cove to get a second chance. I'm standing in what would have been a site and there looks like there is power at these sites and we think that Explorer 1 would look really good here. So Patty, Mikey and I are exploring all over this old campground and there's just some really amazing things. Now, I did find a tin can over there probably from 40 years ago, but the most important thing I've been, we're in one of the very back back campsites here and it's all paved. It's an actually bigger site than most of the other ones. And look at this, there's a power post and a water post here. You know, again, I know we said this at the top of this video, but it, it really feels like even if they just did a quick cleanup of this and used it as dispersed camping, it's a great spot. The spots are fairly level. Uh, there's not a lot of trees, but look at the view. In this long forgotten campground, you could still find signs of life. Coming into where the campground is, there's a parking lot and an old lifeguard uh, station. And on that lifeguard station is a windsock. In the parking lot, people come out with their model airplane. So at least a parking lot's getting used. Our trip to Lake Mead has really uncovered a lot of history. It sure has. And we're told that this campground was active and running many years ago. And because of the water, they shut it down and haven't even thought about opening it back up. So I'm not sure what we can do about it, but it just seems like this would be a great spot for even for dispersed camping with just very, very little effort to, you know, come in here and get rid of some of the brush on the roads. Um, but I think this is an area that really could be used. Absolutely. With all, like you said earlier, with all the, you know, new RVs and trailers and people camping and a lot of the places being, you know, booked. Yeah. It'd be great to have this. I'll tell you, the, you know, the, the other thing here is maybe, just maybe, there's somebody watching this video or searched through this video and actually stayed here. And if you did, we'd really love to hear from you in the comments um, because we just really love uncovering pieces of history like this. That would be an awesome thing to hear somebody who was here. You know, from the lost Hemingway Cove campground. I'm Dan Hunt with my incredible wife, Patty Hunt, saying have a great rest of today. And an even better day tomorrow.